Hello, this is episode 131 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain, and part 5 in the Underdark Cavern series. In this episode, I'll be creating the last four tiles in this set. This first section is going to be a narrow, claustrophobic passageway where eyes are growing out of the walls. I've created a room section pretty much the same as all of the other ones that I've created. And then I've broken up this scrap piece of foam to stuff into the sides. These are going to be the walls that are built up as banks on the sides, which will eventually have eyes pushed into them. I don't use a lot of hot glue, so I was really happy to use up quite a few sticks to build up and fill up some of the areas. Then I could use a little bit less of this artist gel to coat over the top and get more of the texture that I wanted to finish off. These eyes you can get from a lot of different craft stores. They're used usually to make dolls and teddy bears. They're a fairly hard plastic resin. I would have preferred if the eyes had more of a dragon or a snake slit, but surprisingly a lot of teddy bears don't have these. Because I used hot glue to fill up a lot of the spaces, it was fairly hard and quite difficult to stick the whole stem of the eye in, so I had to nip off quite a few of them with clippers. Once all of the eyes were in and the first layer of gel was fairly hard, I then went back and added some more gel around the eyes to make it look less like they were sticking out totally from the surface and more like they were embedded inside. In some cases I slightly went over the edges of the eye to make it a little bit like eyelids. I then went for the same paint treatment as most of the runes in this set, which is a black followed by a blue-grey. Next up I wanted to create a fairly straightforward corridor section except one side of it dropped away into a chasm and to emphasize this I wanted a split or a crack going through underneath the player's feet. This is almost as easy as a 3D room can get. Only one wall is needed and the other side doesn't have a lot of work on it. If this is the first time that you've watched this channel, then you probably don't know that most of my floors are usually 2 centimeters thick. That's more than enough to counter the fact that some of the structure and strength is being compromised by putting this crack through.
Next up, I wanted to create a tight passageway where a lot of the floor was taken up by a tar or pitch. It's fair to assume that if you go deep enough into the ground, you're going to come across oil or tar, and it's going to be pretty unpleasant. Here I'm marking out areas that are safe for players to stand and with the X's areas that are going to be sunken away and full of oil. These will be melted out using a soldering iron. The tar pit's usually fairly dynamic, it has gases coming up and small and large air bubbles popping on the surface. So I've added some of these little domes in different sizes to these lower areas and then I'm going to fill it up with a liquid. So once again I'm going to use fabric glue as the liquid. I'm probably going to be painting over this black and not using its clear colour at the end. Um, but just remember that when you're using this product it does actually melt away the foam. So once again a fairly fast and straightforward paint job with the black and blue grey over the rock area and then just a black paint over all of the pitch. And finally a T-junction section with a large column in the middle.
Thanks again for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this series. There's a couple of quite different videos coming up soon. So please like and subscribe and I'll catch you soon.